Greetings, everyone, with Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro coming up. I'm Mike Emmerich. We got a chance to be around one of the best teams in the league that we're going to watch tonight. What did you take from them? They have great confidence. I mean, when we had a chance to visit with them a few hours ago, they just have a great confidence about them, understanding of knowing who they are, the structure that they play with, and know that they can play with any team in the entire National Hockey League, but a very confident bunch each and every night. The Penguins' identity has been on full display all season long as they sit near the top of the league standings. They understand who and what they are, and that's how they approach each and every night, regardless of the opponent. We direct our attention to the Nets and the starting goalies. Won the last one, so he starts this one. His team has been playing, but he hasn't. That changes tonight with start number one. Tyler Sagan, what a rookie year. Won a Stanley Cup with Boston, blew into Dallas, and posted three 30-goal seasons right away. He's just got the knack. Got that pass near the blue line and now looks ahead. The pass is off the mark. What a chance that would have been. Stood up there. Tremendous hit. Crosby's on a mission out there, clearly trying to set the tone physically for his team early in this first period. One. Oh, a tremendous save. Denied a terrific chance. Shoots it off. Lockered away. Looks ahead to start something. Snapping a pass to Gensel. On the outside, a shot. Good save. It's going to have to be something tougher than that to score. Big hits in open ice. That hit might rattle a few teeth. In between the blue lines, a great job on the cut pass by Cross. Puck ricocheted off the screen. Couldn't get through and retain possession. Cut that pass in his own end. A big collision in the middle of the ice. Shoots. That's terrific goaltending. Looked like the net was open for a second, but he shut it down. With the game stopped, let's hear from Ray. Murray's had an excellent season so far. He's got a high winning percentage, way more wins than losses. He's made enough saves that gives his team a chance to get their feet underneath them when they don't play very well. But he's been pretty consistent this year. We'll see if the opposition can get somebody in his eyes tonight, make it difficult for him to see the puck. Thanks very much, Ray. Face off and a solid tie up and help arrive. Good job. Open ice hitting is not dead. Good intercept in his own end. Shoots. Got in front of another one. He sealed it between his pads. Play halt. Pittsburgh's got a face-off win. Passing one off now to Hagelin. Shoots one. Oh, a save there. Use that stick like a magic wand. Pitching this one to Ritchie. Trying to go to Spezza. It's dumped in. Got it in his own end. A shot. Great chance, but he missed. How did he shoot the puck that quick? Solid rub out. No out of bounds in this sport. He finishes his check here and drives his man right into the boards. Quick wrist shot. He scores! certainly have more energy. They've got the game's first score, and now they can play from in front.
So he played a while in this period and finally a goal. I was hoping, Doc, that we were going to get that first one. The Stars control from the neutral zone. By number 41. On to Faxa. Oh, what a hit that one was. The Tang's ability around the league is eye-catching, but when he uses the body, everybody takes note. Rister, you could almost count that one, but no. Locks on that to Latang. Wonderful stop. Puck is thrown to Hansel. And he dumps it in. And now it's directed to Aston Reese. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Good save there. Little pass from his goalie here. Defensive gem with the stick. Made that work for him in goal. Pass attempt to Hornquist. Just a backhand. Directing that one to Shore. And he steps in. Terrific defensive work. Laid on to Alexiak. Back in his defensive end to get it. Gains the zone. Nicely received at the point. What a heavy collision along the boards. Great play along the boards. Tries to wear down his man by throwing the body. With a shot. The lane was jammed and it hit somebody. The pad came in handy that time. Hornquist's got it on his stick, trying to clear. First period has been completed. And so, intermission activities are forthcoming, but the players get a breather. The Penguins leave the ice with a 1-0 lead. As we look at the shots on goal, it's hard to imagine there really were two teams in this game. It's lopsided. 12 for Pittsburgh and 5 for the Stars. You want the assurance of knowing you have a ticket to all the Penguins have a lead. It is just one, and they did it this way. We'll be right back. For more information, or check out our website. One period down, another period beckons here. What did you think of the first? The Stars are trailing on the scoreboard because their time on attack was limited. They'll need to push the pace if they want to score more goals. Period two has begun. Ray Ferraro is closest to the action. Eddie Olczyk is alongside Mike Emmerich, yours truly upstairs. Alone, say. Looking to Kessel. The Penguins are at the wing in neutral ice. Terrific save with no reaction time whatsoever. Now that's a beautiful stop on a great scoring chance. What a tremendous hit. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. Chip to Mathot. Close in play. Scooped up by Jamie Benn. That shot came from nowhere. Quick wrister. May not have been intentional, but he got it anyway. Wonderful save. The Stars goaltenders kept them close. They've been outshot and outchanced most of the night, but his good plays kept it close. Pitching it to Ben. Let's a shot fly. Pittsburgh sent to the box for two minutes. It's tripping. Well, in desperation mode, all he was trying to do was sweep the puck away, but unfortunately, caught the player skates. The Stars will send out their power play unit for the first time. Well, the power play's excited to get out there. Those guys just about scrambled the onto the ice as they get their initial chance of this game. Goaltender pass. Brought ahead. Can't get it on net. Trying to get it back out there. That puck landed in the bench area, and they can't play. Well, the puck's cleared into the bench, and somebody gets their hands on it, they'll grab it and flip it up over the glass to a fan who sits in the proximity right behind the bench. 
nice face-off work. The Penguins shoot it back out. Got some time to check the clock and prepare to defend again. Moving it to Johnson. He finally got it out of there. The power play unit has to recoil and try yet again. Steps in from the neutral zone. Outstanding body contact. Better tighten up the brain bucket. Not afraid to get physical here tonight. Shore has taken a huge hit, but he's continued to make the play. Puck dropped in the log jam, and the winger reached in and got it. Shot it back out of his own end. Can he generate something from there? Intercepts that pass. Pittsburgh's forced another turnover in this very close game. Let's it go. Save. Dallas in their own end with it. Slid to Honka. Big point blank save there. That was a tougher stop than a look. What a save! He turned it. Wonderful stop by Murray. To Sagan. Gets it with the blocker. Try to clear the puck. Pittsburgh's gotten it back out. They check the clock, get ready to defend. Carries it to the corner. There's a hooking call on this play, but he keeps going. Whistle is blown, and the guilty party heads off the ice. Dallas has been handed a minor, and the call is hooking. The referees are looking for this. Anytime you stop skating and reach with your stick and pull on the opponent, you're going to the penalty box. The teams will go four on four. Do you take risks offensively, or do you just play defense and limit mistakes? I hope they take chances myself. It doesn't even take much of a mistake, though, to get a scoring chance on a four on four. If one guy gets beat by a half a stride, it's game on. The Stars guilty of a minor penalty for using the stick blade and just a hook. This was okay about 10 years ago. Not anymore. That's a hooking call. The Penguins have practiced the power play feverishly this week. Let's see if it pays off. Just because it's your power play doesn't mean you can take a nap here. You have to work hard and continue to generate chances. Good intercept by Crosby. He takes that point pass. And snap to Kessel. Got the save there. Play stopped. That puck is just held. Over seven minutes played here in the second. Pittsburgh's ahead, 1-0. Clean win on the draw. Nice work done with the stick there. Shoots one. Save! Terrific reaction to a scary shot. Crosby's dropped another draw in this close one. Just great positional play. Fires a shot. Nice save, tough to follow. And the referee's whistle has stopped play. Well, he had to be sharp there. That puck changes directions in front of him, and he's able to follow it to make the stop. They win the draw. Cuts off the passing lane in the defensive zone. It's dumped in. Oh, ho, ho, that's more than your normal rub out. In all alone. Score! A power play goal. And it's a biggie.
see if they can continue the momentum gained with this power play goal as they head out for the next shift. The Penguins have now enlarged their lead to two to nothing. At the rate they're going in this game, they might make it three fast. The Stars got that faceoff win. Now what? Scored on the power play by number 71. Fires just missed the net with that one. There's not really much place to go with the shot. He's trying to be perfect. He misses, and the puck rings around the boards. And holds on to that puck to get the whistle. The Stars with a clean win on the draw. A big hit in open ice. Another reason to like this game tonight. A slot wrister. One-time blast. Save there. And that whistle will give them relief for the moment. That's one way to stop the momentum. Cover the puck and get a whistle. That wasn't a very dangerous opportunity at all, but to be sure, the goalie drops to the butterfly and turns it aside. Good offensive zone win. Stick save on the changing shot. He's bought tickets for friends here tonight. He's one away from a milestone. To Kessel. Bad save. But collected. And he dumps it in. The Penguins get the puck with just a few seconds left on their power play. From the outside. No! Well, I guess that's Grady. He scores! And for him, that's his 20th of this season. He finds some space in the high slot. His teammate sets him up for the one-timer, and it's in the back of the net. That's an outstanding shot. The goaltender doesn't have much of a chance to get across and shut the top of the net off. It's perfect. The Penguins have scored yet again, and their lead gets bigger. They are doing very well on the shot board, too. And they've won the faceoff. And you thought open ice hitting was gone. Oh, that's going to make them think twice about going to that area. Blocked. Superb hit. A great hockey play there. Mathot's had a lot of hits in this game, Doc. You don't usually see that from him. Brings it in for an attack. To Malkin. It's brought on, and here's an opposite corner dump of the puck. Pittsburgh's waiting to get things organized in the defensive zone. Enormous hit. He's crushed. Latang's not going to be too happy with that. He didn't have his head up, wasn't aware of everybody around him, and then he got steamrolled. Not sure who made the hit, but that is a big one. The Penguins lose a man for two minutes for charging. All this player has to do, Doc, is not skate through the hit. Glide a little bit before you make contact with the attacking player. The Stars' power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. There's not much new to a power play. It works the same way all the time. You get a good zone entry, you get the puck to the point, you shoot it, you move the penalty killers around. Let's see if they can do it this time. Tried to clear, but couldn't. A collision. Saves it. Not there. You're not going to hit that much harder than he did. Unfortunately, he just misses the net. A solo rush. That's terrific goaltending. He had his eye on the puck the whole time. What a stop. A good stick there, so no complete pass. Skill play by Broussard. Great save. Hangs on to that one for a stoppage in play. The chain of sellouts has continued. Eddie, do you think the paying customers care about such things? We always mention it. You take it for granted when there aren't fannies in the seat stock. You love when there's a full house because it gives you a lot of energy each and every night. Snapping a pass to Carrick. That was one he'll get the number on. I really like the effort that he's trying there to generate a turnover by finishing this check. Swept on to Johnson. 
Not on the net. Instead, it's one. Skill play by Sagan. A huge open ice hit. Open ice hitting is back. Very important steal for him. Clears the zone. A point hammer shot. And a save. Sagan's on the receiving end of a big hit. He's down on the ice right now. That's a brutal hit. I can feel that almost from where I'm standing here on the ice. That one hurts. A little under six minutes to be skated, second period. They've scored again, depending on which book you read. Three may be the most dangerous hockey lead. We'll find out. Cleared back out again, and so the power play unit has to drop back. Dallas, in their own end, has it. Passing one off now to Shore. An enormous hit. Got it back out of the zone. Dogged determination there by Brassard. That one gonked him. The Penguins have his back even after that penalty kill. Skates it into the zone. Brings a shot. What a reaction save. Now that's a solid save. Crosby's got to try to simplify his game there. Just too much stick handling. Good position in the slot. Outstanding save. Difficult opportunity. Pitching this one to Gensel. Trying to go to Kessel. Oh, broke it up. Things are heating up with that hit. You can't touch momentum, but sometimes you can feel it. A big hit like that will change it. They trail by a lot. They got to claw their way in somehow. Keeps it in the zone with that interception. In the second period. They've got a two-on-one. No way he's getting by there. Held there for a face-off coming up next. Pittsburgh's lucky to have one of the top goal scorers in the league. He's a dangerous player that seems to be able to score no matter with the fact that he's the other team's focus. A good tie-up on the face-off. That led to his team getting the puck. Quick shot. A big collision in the middle of the ice. Terrific shot, but a great point-blank save. That great save was all positioning. 40 minutes have been played. A rest is deserved. We turn now to the shots on goal at the end of two. 33 for the Penguins and 21 for the Stars. For our food donation boxes located throughout the concourse. Murray's been spectacular in goal. Here's one of several big saves. Intermission is next. minutes have been played they are getting ready for the third period here so take us back through the game what do you think Eddie the Penguins have had their way the first 40 minutes of play pretty much in every category possible most importantly with this real comfortable lead do they sit on it or look to add to it here in the third wonderful stop late penalty call coming up he got corked on that one that's several times tonight he's been hit At an angle to Mathot. Propelled to Radulo. Great poke check there. The Penguins are guilty of a minor penalty for interference. Clearly an interference call not allowing the player to get involved into the play. They've moved the puck around beautifully on a power play. Just nothing to show for it. Eddie, I'm with you on that. Power play beginning. Solid, clean win. After an ineffective power play earlier in the game, let's see if they could get a little more organized, get the puck into the zone and get it on net far more frequently. On to Brassard. He throws it there. Turned away off the path. 
Dallas from the wing plays it along. Laid on to Shore. Save. Pittsburgh's leading this game because they've been so aggressive, they've not given their opponent any room to create anything with the puck. Murray's been the one key reason that his team's been able to hold on to this lead. He's faced a high percentage of top quality shots. He scores! Winning strategy on the power play. that puck square in the middle of his stick. Great technique. Nobody's trying to shoot the puck this perfectly. You're trying to get rid of it in a hurry. Make sure you get to the net before the goalie can get set. The fact that goes off the post and in means it's a perfect shot. Dallas has gotten back to within two goals in this game, and there's still time here in the third period. Let's see what happens on this faceoff. Shoots one. May not have intended it, but it hit it. A great wrist shot. He saw it coming, and he got in the way. Puck is thrown to Rangelo. Really good cut of the pass. Let's it go. Terrific opportunity, but it's off the mark. Gets all of it there, Doc, but he's got to straighten that thing out for it to count. Terrific determination by Shore. At least he protected his goaltender. And now it's directed to Cullen. Snaps one. Outstanding save with a glove. Crosby's had a marvelous offensive season. Whether it's on the power play or five on five, he's been able to deliver for his team. And as a result, he has among the highest point totals in the league. The Stars with a face-off win. Pass. Oh, a great reaction there as that one was tipped on goal. Hey, Ray, what's going on down there? Crosby's had several opportunities to shoot the one-timer. He's got an excellent release. Eventually, it pays off. He is fun to watch, isn't he, Ray? We'll do more of that now. Penguins win that faceoff. Got a piece of that one. He's got it on his stick perfect off that left wing. Has it back deep. Great stick work prevents the pass from being complete. Chip to Gensel. Deflected off the blocker. Good grab again. Rister from the slot. He was standing in the lane and got some of it. Karam pass to Mata. Pass attempt to Crosby. He is able to move on in. The glove like lightning. Boston's not a team to be taken lightly, Doc. They're up next on the schedule, and of course, we'll be calling all the action. Some great, exciting hockey games ahead. We have passed the 10-minute mark of the third period. Now with the scoring of the goal, let's see if they can get this tie. Strong wrister, save! Crosby's been a really responsible player for his team. He has among the highest plus minuses in the league, but to have that, you've got to be able to produce at both ends of the ice. Critical win of the draw, save! Dallas with possession in the defensive zone. It's dumped in. Laid up that right side to Hornquist. Can start the attack going in the zone. Backhander to the net. Save there. Shot not too strong, pad stop. That was a pass that just went south, and so everybody has to get back out. He banked it right ahead. I like that play. He had a little bit more of a risky option, but he went off the boards and bounced it safely to his partner. Pass comes to him from the crease. Tripped up on the play, and there will be a penalty. 
Faxes headed to the penalty box. A minor for tripping. He's got great stick positioning. Stick is on the ice, but unfortunately takes the skates out from under him. Pittsburgh's power play has been effective so far, connecting for a pair of goals. Let's see what happens here. Solid face-off win. Great stick save. They should be really confident as they enter the power play again. You've already got one power play goal in your back pocket. You'd like to do it again. Directing that one to Gensel. Crosses that line. Great job on a cut pass. Play is stopped, and that well-worn track to both penalty boxes will be plowed through again. This is an easy call for the official, Doc. The player made no attempt to play the puck and just tripped up the attacking player. The squads are even. Four players aside, and the faceoff. Lots of space four on four. It always depends how aggressively the first team with the puck plays it, whether you're going to see much excitement or whether they'll be cautious and play it to a standoff. Slid the carrot. No! The pass was just a little bit off. It wasn't on the T form, and it, as a result, he misses the net on the one time. Did not miss by much. Looking to Crosby. Steps across that line. He caught it and he holds on. The Penguins have been hoping for a streak like this from him for some time. But how could they imagine it would go on for this long? Another excellent night adding to this lengthy point scoring streak. What can they do now that they've won it? Marvelous save. A great chance was no chance. Pitching it to shore. Big hit, possession gone. Anytime you get hit in the open ice like that, that is a jolt. All a part of generating an offense, a little pass off from the goal. Moving it to Brassard. Let's it rip. Took care of that one. Solid work there by Brassard. Gathered up by Jamie Benn. Gains that offensive line. Nice job with the stick left, and he takes it away. From the outside, they score! A snapshot is between a slap shot and a wrist shot, and that is textbook snapshot hockey. He finds the back of the net. That's a really nice move, and then he lays this beautiful pass across the front of the net, and this is in the net. Pittsburgh's goal has taken them to an even larger lead on a night that they have had the offense going. Third period of play. Snapping a pass to Malkin. From the slot of Rister. Great save. Hangs on to that one, and he'll see a faceoff right near it. Just a hair under four minutes still left in the third. With the scoring of that goal, the lead now is three. <laughs> Dallas with a long way to go and not much time to do it on this power play. Linesman signals an offside. Another face-off win. I wonder what his percentage is now. It's way up there. And the whistle signals an offside. I usually don't even know where the mascot is most of the time in a game, but this guy's really good. He's all over the place. He's in front of the play, so people are watching him while they're watching what's going on on the ice. I kind of like his costume, too. This is pretty good stuff. Propelled to Nechuskin. Kneeling behind the net. Dallas had an earlier power play goal, not this time. A shot. Pittsburgh's in possession as they travel in the defensive zone. Gets in, looks over his options here. Has it in his own end. Terrific hit that time. It's just one of a pile he's had today. A hit that can make you mad. Oh, that's a big hit, though. You know what, Doc? And so, punches are being thrown here late in the contest. And it is...
is over with one last huge hit. That last punch decided the winner in that very even scrap. The Penguins players are screaming from their bench as their guys won the fight. The crowd is so pumped right now. Pittsburgh's got it again. Guarded the goal again. And he picks it up. Passing one off now to Ritchie. And he dumps it in. Pitching this one to Hornquist. So we're into the last minute. All is academic here. A great wrist shot. He hangs on and gets the whistle. The Penguins win the draw. And a save. And he holds on, and the whistle stops play. Good job on the draw. Important interception there. Well, that's a bad turnover, Doc. When you're ahead, that puck has to be moved into a safe area of the ice 100% of the time. It's dumped in. Trying to go to Gensel. Big collision in open ice. Well, that big hit's going to really excite the crowd. Nice hit. Anything to slow him down here. Puck is thrown to Mathot. Oh, tremendous hit. That rush is over. And now it's directed to Kessel. Pass attempt to Crosby. And it's all grabbed. That puck is held, and the whistle stops play. Well, this shift had to seem like an extra minute for him. He was banged up earlier on it, still gets out to block the shot. seem to matter who the opponent is because this team is really executing effectively on their game. That's another win and the streak continues. That's it for another great night at a hockey rink. For Eddie and Ray, Doc saying good evening everyone.